I feel like I have done so much work on myself. I have built a beautiful life for myself. I'm happy with my life where I'm at, my job. I'm successful. I'm independent. I'm healthier than I've ever been. I take such good care of myself. Truly the only thing I'm missing in my life is someone to enjoy it with. And I'm so sick of waiting. Like when is it going to be my turn? What more do I have to do to fix myself before I'm just allowed to be happy? Before I'm allowed to meet this universe soulmate person that God supposedly has for me? How much harder do I have to pray and manifest and wait? I feel like I'm being punished for something I didn't do. And I'm just so tired. I'm so tired. I don't want, I don't expect a lot. I just want love in my life so bad. I want my life partner. I just, am I just supposed to be alone? Like, is that the message that this beautiful life I've built for myself? Like, it's just supposed to be me in it alone. It's over. Like, I know I have my dog and I love him so much, but like, I need love. All of my friends have their fiancés and their boyfriends and their husbands that they prioritize. Like, as far as I'm concerned, I've been left behind. Oh, you've been left behind. And I really just want to find that person that matches my energy and wants to build a life with me. Is that so hard? Uh, okay, so what so so what do we so what do we think about this? We're gonna we're gonna bro and here's the problem, man. Here's the problem, bro. She wants love in her life so badly. You know what I'm saying? And that's and, and that's something that I want to kind of break down, right? Controversial. But a lot of women say, I don't need a man, I want a man. And she's one of those types. I want love in my life. But I don't need love, but I want love in my life. Okay? So I look at that. If a chick tells me, if a woman tells me, I don't need you, I want you, I'm gone. Me. How much harder do I have to pray and manifest and wait? I feel like I'm being punished for something I didn't do. You are not being punished. You're not being aggressive enough. And that's where a lot of these women didn't don't realize that you have to compete. Right? When you go to Colombia, when you go to Thailand, Philippines, uh, Brazil, all these different places, you see these women are competing. They're competing for men. It's a competition. And it's cutthroat. That's why it's a little in, in the United States, a lot of women don't think they have to compete. They think that a man is just gonna show up and he's just gonna sweep me off my feet and he's gonna do this, he's gonna do that. Cause and the man that she thinks that's gonna do that, he has a lot of other women competing for it. And these in South America, the women compete. They're in the gym, they're eating healthy, they're watching their weight. You know what I'm saying? They're they're looking at a landscape and all that type of stuff because they don't really have all of the advantages of the same as American women do. They don't have all of the advantages. Okay? They don't have access to Section 8 and uh, unemployment and alimony and child support to the same degree as women in the United States. So they really got to compete. Okay? That's just the, re that's the way the world works. Dating apps are dying and these companies like Match Group and Bumble, they're trying to come up with innovative ways to try to get people to match up. But this is my issue with dating apps. And a lot of people get angry with me and they get upset with me when I talk about uh, 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 P4P and sugar babies and all that type of stuff. They get mad at me. They're like, MT, you're paying for it. You're doing this. You're doing that. Right? You guys know people get angry at me when they talk about the P for P because I've done P for P. I don't have no problem with P for P. I keep it real, okay? I just tell you guys don't overpay for the P for P. Make sure you get a good deal. That's my only issue, right? P 
for P, uh, sugar baby, regular dating. You know what I'm saying? I do it all. But here's the problem, right? So people who get angry with me with pay, pay for play, how, explain to me how these dating apps aren't pay for play. Explain to me how these dating apps are not pay for play because you guys are getting played in the United States. How much does Tinder cost in the United States? Because they're going to, they, the algorithm, as soon as you create a, a Tinder account, the algorithm is against you because you ain't paying a monthly subscription. That's number one. So you got to get Tinder Gold. You got to get Tinder Platinum. That's what, $30, $30 a month? Okay, and then you're going to try to start boosting yourself in the algorithm. You're going to be boosting and stuff like that. Paying for that. You want to send her a super like you see a chick you really, really like. The, the, what, but Bumble never tells you the chick that they're showing you hasn't logged in on, on, on Tinder in like six months. But Tinder doesn't tell you that. So you're paying, you're paying, you're paying to play with these dating apps. That's why a lot of people are leaving. They're like, yo, wait a minute. This is pay for play. This is these day, This is digital pay for play. Bumble, Hinge, Tinder, they all have the algorithms that are against you. They don't tell you that 80% of the people on the apps are men. So you have 80% of men competing for 20% 20 of women who are never on the app and you're paying monthly subscriptions to try to talk to them. You're paying extra to try to match with them directly. You're sending, you're sending flowers and roses and all that type of stuff. You've been on Tinder three or four. You've been paying Tinder Gold for three or four years. Tinder Platinum for three or four years. They came out, they came out with a new subscription service, $500 a month on Tinder where you get your own concierge service. And y'all talking about pay for play? Y'all talking about MT, you pay for play, you do this, you do that. Y'all want to talk about me? <laughs> Y'all are getting, these companies, this, the woman who owns this company, Bumble, is a billionaire, bro. She became a billionaire off of microtransactions from men who are trying to talk to women. They have become a playmaker. Hey, check this out. Miss Venezuela with, a, with the sugar daddy. We got Miss Venezuela with the sugar daddy. Okay. There is a Colombian saying that explains, which basically means that whoever has money can do whatever they want. So this is Miss Venezuela. And we're going to play this. Okay. And I'm going to. I got to use the bathroom. So we're going to play this. Come on now. Here we go. This is Miss Venezuela right here. Okay? Miss Venezuela 2023. And y'all want to sit here and y'all want to talk about running game. You can run game and you can get this and you can get that. This is Miss This is Miss Venezuela right here. Okay? And who she with? Who she dancing and laughing and giggling with? Have it, probably going to have a baby with. This dude is at least 60. There's like at least a 40 year age gap. 40, a 40, could be potentially a 45 year age gap between, between these two. Okay? You're not going to, if you, listen to me, dude. <laughs> We're going to get to the, listen to me, man. Do I need to get on the big screen and wake, and wake y'all up? If you, if you want the best of the best, okay? You're not going to, you're not going to game yourself into her panties, bro. It's not going to happen. And when we talk about the most beautiful women, the, the, the chicks that everybody wants, the chicks that's fresh out of the box in their prime, there's men who are competing for her. That 20, that 29 year old chick, where's she at? The 29 year old chick like her who's crying in the car. Ain't nobody competing for that. Bro, I guarantee you that 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 this older guy wasn't doing any pickup artist game. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to run up on Miss Venezuela on some pickup game. You're not going to do it. Okay? It's just not happening. Where's that video at? 
And we got people in the comment section getting angry and upset. What y'all talking about in the comment section? My man says, you, he says, you, you lead with game, not your paper. Okay, well, you ain't, you're not getting Miss Venezuela leading with your game, bro. Or anybody, or any woman of this equivalency. Now, if you want a 20, a 39 year old or a 29 year old complaining in her car, then you can do all the game and run all the game that you want. Okay. But it ain't, it's not happening. Where's the opposition at? Anybody got something to say in the comment section? Right. Anybody got something negative to say? South Korea, Japan, and a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people come at me and they're like, hey, Skylar, uh, I want to go to Japan. Or, hey, Skylar, I want to go to, uh, I want to go to um, South Korea. Like, what's this, what's the landscape looking like, bro? It is not looking too good in, uh, in, these other countries, bro. And when you start to think about it, you know what I'm saying? She is, we're going to get to her other stuff, but she is 53 and we can't play the music, but they dancing together. Look, my husband is 36 and I'm 53. And you can, you can tell by her legs that she's old, is that, that she's a little bit older, but this is, but this is, this is, this is the milk. This is a lot of milk toast that's going on in, in Korea, in Japan. The, the men are not, they have been emasculated. And, I, and I'm looking and I'm thinking, I'm like, yo, I need to get my Korean brothers out of this because this is sad, bro. And this is a lot of, this is a lot that, this is a lot that's going on. Let's see if we can get back on her page. Okay. So this is her page right here. Okay. This is the video that went viral. This is her. She's 53. Okay. Um, she has two kids and, it, and I don't, and this is really what, she got a kid that's 12 and, chick, and a kid that's 17. And this is kind of. This is a lot of these women are going viral and they're doing this is what they do all day. They do dance routines all day on social media for likes and attention. And I'm just kind of thinking like this is some weird stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, let's do a dance routine. Let's do it on social media. And I'm just like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Dancing all the time. It's just kind of like uh um it's kind of like gesturing a little bit it's like what is the outcome of this you know what i'm saying she loves talking about how she's 53 years old and like you got to think about it. this is somebody's wife you know what i'm saying likes attention you know what i'm saying um it's kind of where it's kind of where things are headed uh in this world right you have you you would never see somebody's wife doing this for likes and attention 10 15 years ago Look at that. He's 30, 30 years old, and she's 47. Okay. And again, we're not judging. Okay. But he's definitely, uh, he's definitely, it's sad, bro. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of Koreans out there. There's a lot of Japanese dudes who be low key watching me, but they can't say anything. And you know what's funny? Check this out. Here's the, this is what the part they don't really talk about. These are not his kids. This little 12 year old, that ain't, that's not his kid. I guarantee you that's not his kid. So she had, she came in a relationship with two kids. She got a 17 year old and a 12 year old. That's not his kids. Cause they just got married. You know what I'm saying? So you, come on, dude. So, so men are taking L's on a global level. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? The men are taking L's on a global level. 